Iceland. 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 A spectacular and damaging site in Iceland. Have you ever wondered what it's like to stand at the edge of a volcanic eruption, feeling the earth tremble and seeing molten rock flow? From the dramatic eruptions of Iceland to Indonesia's awe-inspiring volcanic landscapes, these geological giants captivate our imagination while posing significant challenges. Iceland's geological wonders. Iceland sits at the intersection of the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates, resulting in frequent volcanic activity. The eruptions in the Reykjanes region typically originate from cracks rather than a central peak leading to extensive lava flows that dramatically reshape the landscape. The latest volcanic activity in Iceland, Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula, has witnessed a dramatic rebirth in volcanic activity, with multiple eruptions occurring since 2021 after nearly 800 years of inactivity. This renewed activity has ignited scientific interest and raised concerns among local communities indicating a potential long-term phase of volcanic unrest. Witnessing Iceland's volcanic eruptions on December 18, 2023, the Reykjans Peninsula erupted for the fourth time in three years, marking a pivotal moment in the region's volcanic history. This eruption released lava at an astonishing rate, 10 times more than previous eruptions at their peaks and created a fissure stretching 2.5 miles within minutes. This eruption is part of a series that has not only transformed the landscape, but also prompted investigations into the volcanic processes at work. The dawn of a volcanic revolution in Iceland, the Reykjanes Peninsula, once dormant, erupted with the Fagradalsfjall event in 2021, lead to six eruptions in just three years. Researchers believe this signals a new era of volcanic activity that could last for centuries. Each eruption provides critical insights into geological processes, revealing surprising similarities in lava compositions, community impacts, and safety risks. Earlier eruptions occurred in remote areas, but recent activities threaten populated regions. The latest eruptions have disrupted life in Grindavik, a town of about 3,800 residents, cutting off essential services and raising evacuation concerns. Experts warn that continued volcanic activity may necessitate long-term evacuations, especially near infrastructure like the Svartsengi power plant. Evaluating immediate threats from volcanic activity, the eruption's proximity to Grindavik and crucial infrastructure, including a geothermal power plant and the Blue Lagoon Spa, heightened concerns about potential destruction. Fortunately, proactive measures like evacuations and lava barriers mitigated the worst outcomes. Insights into volcanic activity, scientists are investigating the complex interactions within the volcanic systems beneath the peninsula. Recent studies indicate a shared magma reservoir deep underground fueling multiple systems. This interconnection suggested that while eruptions may be smaller and more frequent, they could persist for decades, necessitating ongoing monitoring and preparedness from local authorities. Scientific investigations into volcanic activity. Researchers have employed geochemical and geophysical methods to enhance their understanding of the volcanic activity. A magma reservoir located 5.5 to 7.4 miles below the surface has been identified as the source for various volcanic systems. This collaborative research enhances predictive capabilities regarding future eruptions and informs risk assessments for local communities. As Iceland enters this new volcanic phase, the potential for both disruptions and discoveries is significant. Scientists are closely monitoring ongoing eruptions to deepen their understanding of volcanic mechanics and mitigate risks for residents. Uncertain future. Although the eruption initially subsided, experts caution that it could either continue at a lower intensity for months or suddenly escalate again. 
the underlying volcanic plumbing remains poorly understood, raising questions about the timing and potential future activity. The blistering heart of Southeast Asia. Indonesia is recognized for its extensive volcanic activity, hosting the highest number of volcanoes of any nation, 76 have erupted at least 1,171 times in recorded history. The Smithsonian Institution catalogs 141 Indonesian volcanoes, with around 130 considered active along the Pacific Ring of Fire. The geological setting contributes to significant hazards, including eruptions that can lead to fatalities, destruction of arable land, and natural disasters. A legacy of fire. Indonesia has experienced some of history's most catastrophic volcanic eruptions. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 produced 40 cubic kilometers of ash and triggered the year without a summer in 1816, resulting in approximately 90,000 deaths. Similarly, the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa registered a Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, of six, causing around 36,000 fatalities and devastating two-thirds of the island. Additionally, the 2010 eruption of Mount Merapi had a VEI of four, releasing a sulfur dioxide cloud that reached 15,000 meters. To improve volcanic risk management, the Volcanological Survey of Indonesia was established in 1920, playing a crucial role in monitoring volcanoes and facilitating evacuations during eruptions. For example, during the 1982 eruption of Galunggung, 75,000 people were evacuated, leading to only 68 fatalities. Mount Agung activity, 2017, 2019. Mount Agung exhibited intense volcanic unrest beginning in August 2017, marked by significant seismic activity and ground distortion. The first eruption occurred on November 21, 2017, following a major seismic swarm and leading to the evacuation of over 140,000 residents. The activity was characterized by a rapid increase in earthquake frequency, indicating magma movement beneath the volcano. Analyzing gas emissions and their impact prior to the unrest at Mount Agung, geochemical monitoring was non-existent due to the lack of fumaroles since its last significant eruption in 1963. After an increase in steam emissions, remote sensing techniques were employed to measure sulfur dioxide levels, revealing significant anomalies in carbon dioxide levels that indicated unrest. Challenges in forecasting included limited monitoring stations and adverse weather conditions that affected gas measurements. However, additional monitoring technologies, including drones and INSAR, improved data collection over time. The interval between seismic activity and eruptions complicated predictions warning further investigation into magma ascent rates. Crisis response and its impact on communities. The 2017 to 2018 crisis at Mount Agung was influenced by various social factors, including the high population density in hazard zones and Bali's tourism status. The coordinated alert system effectively facilitated evacuations and public safety measures despite pressures to adjust alert levels. Effective public communication was crucial during the crisis. The Volcanological Survey of Indonesia used mobile applications and radio systems to circulate information, with community leaders playing a vital role in maintaining public awareness. Misunderstandings regarding eruption risks underscored the need for clear communication and community education. What surprising insights about the fiery forces shaping these incredible landscapes will you take away from this journey? If you enjoyed this exploration, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching.